There I am. <laughs> now, here is hoping I can actually access my body. This looks so goofy. <laughs> Howdy folks and welcome back to Ark on an Anunnaki Adventures. <laughs> Uh, someday that word will roll off my tongue. I don't know why it doesn't. Um, anyway, I'm on the bat, which is just hilarious to watch. The way I ride on him, and if you if you watch in K mode, let me see if I can if I can show you in K mode here. Oops, that's, that was K mode. Um, as I'm riding along, you notice how my character's head is like turning to the side, and her legs are going up and down. <laughs> it's just funny as heck. I just love it. Um, we are looking for. The Drake still, the Poison Drake, but uh, that's going to be an ongoing thing. When it happens, it happens. I, I've come to realize that. What we're going to do instead is a project here, and that is that um, I've been very concerned. We have a Primal Wyvern and a Wyvern that spawns. It seems to be a spawn location, not here, but just outside that, out there, basically. Just down this river, down the river from the, the Beaver Pond. There is a Primal Wyvern and a Wyvern that spawn. Uh, and it's um it's very disconcerting. Now they never come this way, but I'm still really nervous, and I'm nervous about possibly uh, getting some uh, wyverns coming in, something of that nature. I can't actually land, can I? If I do a land button command, it actually kicks me off. So anyway, um, so I really want it. I built that's why I built these behemoth gates and behemoth walls up, just to add a little bit more protection. But you notice they don't go anywhere near up to the roof, right? So anything flying in, just cruising along, is going to be like, oh, look, things to eat. Of course, I got a lot of badass alphas and things down there. Uh, that'll probably kick some butt, but their big things can still do. Anyway, I want to avoid the, the temptation. So I really want to build up that wall and cover the gaps. And I also want to build up this wall back here a little bit more. And have just kind of an entrance, a high-level entrance in here. And another thing I want to do is start making a place for our flyers to really land. We used to have the roof up here, and then we're starting to, starting to put them down on the ground, and it's, it's getting kind of confusing. So what I want to build is kind of a second story, kind of a, a, up above here, at, at kind of the height of the behemoth gates that runs across the whole area of the base here, which will be for uh, flyer landing. Because we're, you know, I think we're going to be taming a whole bunch of flyers, including eventually wyverns. So it'd be nice to have a place to put them. So I'd like to put something up here. Now, if I use corrected structures, let me uh, let me find a good place to jump off this guy. <laughs> if I use corrected structures, that'll work. Yeah. Uh, you can actually uh, build corrected structures without a lot of support. And actually, that's not a good place for Batman, is it? <laughs> I just realized. His wings go so far down. All right, we'll put him out here. He makes the goofiest noises, too. Uh, corrected structures don't require a lot of support, so you could basically raise a seal, raise a column up from anywhere, place the ceiling on it, and then just lay out ceilings everywhere without any columns underneath. So I think that's kind of what we're going to do, and they're going to use stargate rings to get from the top to the bottom. It's kind of our way of getting up and down, I think will be cool, too. So what I really want to do is kind of experiment with that and see... First of all, if it's true, let's, uh, let's see if I can build a bunch of columns and maybe a few ceilings uh, using corrected structures here. Grab some stone. Right. Okay. So if we do CS stone, there's our column, our pillar, pardon me. I don't know how many of those I'm going to need to get to the height I want to get to. Uh, we'll do 20-ish. I think. And let's actually build a few. Well, a couple is fine. Actually, I'd like a couple more. So, let's, yeah, that, that's about right. And that'll prove our theory, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Let me see if I can slowly get to the rooftop here. Maybe I want to build up from the roof. I'm not sure. Let's, let's figure out where we kind of want to put a pillar support that won't look too weird. Because we're going to have one, basically one pillar supporting the whole thing. And, hmm, if I could move a little faster, it would be awesome. Go ahead and climb up this ladder. All right. Okay, so that third gate over is kind of the center. 
ish, or maybe you're like right here is kind of the center between these two gates, or like like right around there, right? So it wouldn't be a bad idea to put a pillar back here as my primary support. Yeah, let's let's take a look. Ugh. All right, now I can finally move. So if we come out here and we put a pillar down, let's go ahead and lay that. I don't know what this is going to look like, folks. I haven't worked this out on paper or anything. Uh, I don't normally work anything out on paper. <laughs> I'm not that kind of builder. I'm not a good builder. I just build and see what happens. Like that. Well, where did that go? Oh, thank goodness it's CS structures. We can just pick it up, right? All right. Let's do it from this angle. Okay, we're going to have to obviously get a flyer to go any, any any higher, really. So let's go ahead and grab our champion quits. Let's grab the champ. He'll be our platform for this work. If I can get him off his mate here. Ugh. Okay, and I like how the champion quits is too. They uh, they stop in midair. You let up, you don't have to hit your air brakes. They just stop, which is just awesome. Er okay, now if you get his head out of my build area. Now I'm going to have to move. Let's just kind of point up and go up. Do that again. Okay, perfect. Ah, those badass messages are interesting. Because there's a lot of battles going up there, up above the ground. But since I'm still horizontally within range, I get all these messages. Okay, how high is that? Um, I don't think, I think I want to go a little bit higher. Let's try those two. See if that does it. See if that does the trick. Am I at roughly the right height to be at the, I think so. Definitely as it slopes down. I think I'm, I think I'm kind of at the right height. So let's see if I can place... And notice also with corrected structures, you get that kind of a gap, which is weird. But So we should be able to go out. Yeah, we can go out forever, basically, at this point. Oh, kind of want to go up there. <laughs> All right, well, fine. Be that way. Oh, no, you can't. It still also requires foundation support. That's interesting. I thought corrected structures didn't need them. Well, that kind of changes everything. Hmm... Hmm. Well, hmm. That kind of changes my plans. If I need columns everywhere, that kind of makes it not very practical, does it? Doesn't it? Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about this, guys. I'll be back. Okay, we're back, and I've made a little bit of progress. Now, it wasn't going to be as easy as I thought, as you saw, when uh, these, these things are not unsupported. I thought they might have been. I don't know why I got that impression. Um, they need the same support rules that uh, everything else does. Now, let me go ahead. I put a uh, went ahead and crafted a couple of teleporter rings. So I've got one up there to get me up top, calling it the loft. And it's really cool that you can see the other one activate from this one. That's just really cool. Um, so this is going to work as a surface up here. And I don't think it's kind of cool that I can... How far? You know, it's just it's just a cool vantage point. Anyway, um, I can't currently place here because I need more support. So I've determined that obviously um, I need to drop pillars down here as well. So um, I don't know if it's really obvious. Let me come back down here and show you. I don't think I'm going to be able to extend over the top of the entire base, which was my hope. Um, it's going to only be the front portion, I think. Uh, it'll be big enough to support a whole bunch of flyers up there. You know, but I can come out, you know, I can, I can come out as far as I want, but I think I'm only going to come out maybe, um, right now, this is four, this this one out here is four. I think I might come out eight, maybe, uh, ceilings. And the reason I say that is because if you look up here, I'm going to have to drop columns down from this ceiling right above me, too, in order to put these ceilings and then the columns down from this ceiling as well in order to do it. So I can't do that throughout the entire base because then all I have are these avenues right here for movement and I can't move big dinos like the Alpha Rex 
uh, through these little gaps. In fact, most of my dinos won't fit through these little gaps. Once this other column, uh, you know, column of pillars is here, uh, I won't be able to fit through here with these things. So I can only come out a little bit, and then these guys can have these avenues up to the big gates if I do it this way. And by the way, I'll be taking out these species X, I guess, because once I get all of these platforms up and put more behemoth gates or behemoth walls up there, probably behemoth gates so I can fly out more easily that direction with the flyers. Um, once I do that, uh, these turrets will, will serve no real purpose. I mean, I might move them out here uh, so that they can tackle things that come towards my base from this direction. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but I won't need them down there for sure. So anyway... I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. I'm going to try this. I'm going to, I'm going to have to farm a whole bunch more stone um, wooden patch because I'm starting to run dry, uh, which is easy. I've got the guys for it. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to drop these pillars down here and come out. See, I don't know about eight because eight would be like out here-ish. By the way, I love this feature. I, I, I kind of want to do something with it. But it would be out here-ish and then... The only avenue to move my big dinos like the Alpha Rex would be this section from here to the to the building. And that's pretty narrow to move side to side, move laterally here, right? So I might not go eight. I might just go like five, maybe. Five seems about right. That should be big enough to land even hopefully a wyvern up there or a set of wyverns. Probably not, you know, two abreast. Probably not like, you know, one towards the gate and then one out this way. But at least I can probably land them up there. Uh, which is really cool. And then it'll run the, I'm uh, hoping it'll extend the entire width here. So we'll have a lot of surface area to play with. Anyway, I wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'm going to do a lot more farming and a lot more work. And I'll come back when we're uh, a little closer to completion, I guess, or if I have something else to share. Okay, something bad just happened. <laughs> I was up here working on this rock over here trying to lay these pillars. And um, something that happens every once in a while on the center map, I don't know why, but uh, I was on a rock and all of a sudden I was teleported up to the top. And um, there's some speculation that maybe one of the changes they put in place to uh, automatically put people who are trapped beneath the world on top of the world is actually coming into play here. And it thinks that I'm somehow beneath the world. So it teleports me up. Um, I think I need to go back in here. Um, and I, I just went out on the RG to try to find my body because it looked like I fell through the world. And fortunately, here uh, on the center where I live up there, if you fall through the world, you're going to stop eventually, and you're probably going to be somewhere where you can be found. And sure enough, look at this, if it's still here. Let's see. Let's use my corpse finder. And there's my corpse finder, and there's a little beacon, and there I am. <laughs> now, here is hoping I can actually access my body, though. That's that's the concern. Okay, i got to go down just slightly. Okay, let's go down slightly more. Okay, can I? Oh, thank goodness. But where's my stuff? Oh, no. It says I'm there. Oh, there's two inventories. Okay, I guess that was everything I had. My armor and some building supplies. That was That's weird. Why are there two inventories? Huh. Well, anyway, I got my body back. <laughs> As you can see, when you fall through the world, that's about as far as you fall from there to the top of uh, where my base was. But that is, I was really worried that I was going to be losing my special apex. This thing, this epic alpha chess piece, I didn't want to lose that. But cool, got it back. Awesome. Back to construction. And I realize I may not have explained that clearly, but the reason I fell through the world was because it teleported me to the top, and I was worried because I know there's a lot of bad stuff up there, and I just had me. And nothing else, no animals. So I was running to try to find a way down. I thought, hey, the quickest way to fall down would be to jump into that uh, pond, the beaver pond, from up top. Well, I missed. I jumped, but I missed. <laughs> That's why I died and fell through the world. Okay, we're back. A little bit more of an update. I'm not finished yet, but I think I understand how exactly this is going to lay out here. Here's the behemoth get I laid. Here are the, found the floors, pardon me. And I put a behemoth wall over there, which seems to be a great way to cap in cap that, to kind of block that off. I moved the teleporter ring a little bit further back into this corner. And I think I'm going to be using... Let me go ahead and place the last couple of uh, ceilings right here. This is as far back as we're going to go, but which is the length. I'm using the behemoth wall as kind of a measurement, which I think is one, two, three, four, five, six actual ceilings. I originally thought it might have been five, so we're going to use six. 
and I've got some of these guys that I'm going to use uh, to wall off back here. Uh, these are Arc Advance, um, what do they call them? Better Stone Fences, which I think are pretty cool. I kind of like their, their look. And you can walk up to it and still kind of look over the edge a little bit, which is really cool. All right, so this is how it's going to look from up here. You notice it's pretty darn wide. I think we're not going to have any problem fitting wyverns and, and drakes and things because it's going to go all the way over to there uh, up here. Uh, it should not be a problem, I don't think. Now, down below, I'm going to show you something. So the columns and the pillars are pretty much the way I just I kind of described them to you, which is that I'm going to have these this big wide gap between sets of columns coming out. So it's going to have, kind of have a cool look too all by itself, but it kind of frames the gateways, the down gateways. Now notice that this behemoth gateway, a couple of things. One, it's at a slight slant uh, to the platform, and uh, it sticks up above the platform. Now sticking up above the platform, I can't really help because if you look, um, and now I really wish I was back up top, but if you look, this, these, this row of, of behemoth gates slowly goes down. Uh, so I started that platform at a slightly uh, a height slightly below that top of that uh, that door, that behemoth gateway, so that hopefully at the end they're going to be about the same, maybe slightly above the gateways. But what I'm going to do for the uh, for the crooked angle is once I finish this whole platform, I'm going to start taking out these behemoth gateways, and I'm going to replace them and line them up with this this platform, so that they'll go in a straight line over there. Now that might might mean I have to. Uh, redo our taming pit. I don't know. Uh, I don't. It's not going to impinge on the taming pit, but it might be close enough that it's kind of awkward to get in and out of the taming pit. Uh, so we'll have to see how that goes. And I'm definitely going to take down, like I said, these uh, these uh, turrets, these plant species X turrets. So anyway, again, uh, next time I come back, I'm going to come back with it completely done, guys. And I'm going to land all our birds up there and show you what it's going to look like. Okay. See you in a bit. Well, see you in a few seconds. It'll probably be a few hours for me. <laughs> well, I've come back and I'm not quite done yet because I have some bad news. And that was that um, I, when I went out to get more resources, I stupidly left one of the big doors open and an RG came in here. Pretty high level one. And I didn't, I don't know, didn't kill anybody because there's nothing in the logs about anybody dying. Uh, but I came over and saw that um, uh, my Alpha RG was parked over here. Well, actually hovering over here. And a couple of the other animals had moved, and then when I looked down here, I noticed, in fact, the bat had gone, Batman had gone into the, into the base, was fluttering in the base. And down there on the ground was a high-level RG, uh, unconscious. But the only casualty of this seems to be that I cannot find um, the champ, my high-level champion Quetz. And I have been searching high and low everywhere for well over an hour two hours now i even took the server down and installed the uh, pet finder which is made by the same guy who makes the corpse finder that you saw me earlier use earlier and it works great it leads you to the direction of pets and i followed this one over here and it took me all the way to a uh, <laughs> a um a giganotosaurus that somebody had tamed uh, one of the guys on the server had tamed that was just out in the middle of nowhere um the two over here take me over to my sharks in the water. This path straight ahead takes me all the way over to uh, where CD Gaming and uh, and uh, uh, Steppy have their bases. And I cannot find my guy anywhere. I've looked up to the very top of the world, uh, all around. I've looked down at the ground. I've looked across the water. I've looked underneath the island. I think he's gone, and that's a shame. I mean, at least I have a champion Quetz up here, the female. But she's low level. An RG just like that one right there. Uh, you know, she's low level. Well, 269, fairly low level. Um, I really miss him. <laughs> so it's kind of a bummer. We're going to have to tame another high level one if we can find it. Oh, well. Back to building. Okay, I'm back before I'm done again for another reason. And that is complete frustration. <laughs> it's some of the weirdness in arc building. Um, I overlook a lot of the weirdness in arc building. But this one is just really getting on my nerves. And I, I Okay, if you can't build because there's a lack of foundation it says requires nearby foundation support right totally used to that here it says can't place structure here usually it says that i mean it doesn't say it's obstructed it just says can't place structure here so the first thing i looked for was obstruction 
No, no, there's no real obstruction because I mean I'm I'm placing through behemoth gates all over the place. Uh, that's this first row was all placed through behemoth gates, so that can't be that behemoth gate, and it's not even obstructing anyway. If you look, that it completely clears that. Okay, well, I don't know what else could be. Well, here is the case of I was able to place another ceiling out this far because I've got columns underneath, uh, underneath this row right here. I've got columns. So I was able to put out another row. But if I try to put one right here, can't place structure here. Even though, I guess it's two in there. Even though there's a column right there. I can't place a structure here. Why? Why? It's not a matter of clipping, guys. This is corrected structures. It has no clip. It's the same as no clip. It just doesn't want to place. Arc just thinks it's not placeable can't be played doesn't say it's too high it doesn't say the ceiling's too high or the you know there's a message for that too that's not what's going on here even though i'm on the floating island um there's this particular message for when that happens this is just the general arc i don't know they're just like shrugging their shoulders arc saying nope well, i don't know what's going on can't tell you but you can't put it there <sighs> so i am um kind of frustrated Kind of frustrated because I uh, the only option I have is to maybe narrow down this whole thing to this, make this the front end right along here, take these two rows back. But then what's to say further on here I'm gonna not going to get another one of those saying I can't build and I have to go back further. Or I only make the, the flyer platform this, this far out. It stops here. But then I can't put too many flyers on here. Well, maybe I go out that direction. And that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Is I'm probably going to stop at this wide, or close to this wide, like right around this ceiling here, and I'm just going to go out there. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. <laughs> All right. I'll see. I'll go as far as I can go that way before I uh, am told some mysterious, uh -huh. And it won't let me do it. So at least I can pick all this stuff up, right? I did all this with CS in advance, so at least I can pick it all up. All right, guys, I'll be back. All right, guys. That's about as much as I think I'm going to do for now. Uh, main reason being I was about to impinge upon the Stargate. I didn't really want to move the Stargate right now. Uh, so what we have up here is the two wide channels, like we talked about. Uh, with a complete platform up there. We've got some of the birds up there. We've got Spelunker up there already. We've got Batman up there and Charlene, who is our last remaining champion, Quetz. Let's go ahead and move uh, a couple of our other birds up if I can actually get on them. Hello, Justin. There we go. A little bit of lag. All right, Justin. So Justin's going to go hang out uh, right over here. And uh, let's head on down using these rings if I can get out of Justin's uh, tail feathers and go fetch our alpha the other flyer we want up there and we do have another as you know RG up here Dawn our original RG but our Dawn doesn't have a saddle right now so I'm gonna have to uh, swap a saddle in here uh, from Justin can I fit in there good to get this one up so it's only fitting that Dawn, being our first bird, will be the last one to come up. Oh, by the way, I wanted to show you. I'm planning on putting some Plant Species X along here uh, to offer a way of defending across here in case something comes in over there. I'm going to leave those Plant Species X there, and I'm probably going to put another tower over there. I knocked it down thinking I was going to go that way, but I should probably put it back up. And then I'll have these here for defense, and that should be pretty good. I think we'll be able to defend anything coming in from the air as long as it's not like, you know, a wyvern or something. I think we'll be in great shape. So let's go ahead and get Dawn. It's only fitting that Dawn will be the last one to go up, being the last bird we t our first bird we tamed. So let's go ahead and park Dawn up here. Woo! I'm so used to the uh, the that asses and the alphas. Look at Dawn how she's coasting. I'm so used to them stopping as soon as they uh, as soon as you let go. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.